Safa says, please suggest to me dua that I can recite as my two-year-old is very ill-mannered and hyperactive, does not listen at all. I know it's the age, but it gets difficult. I feel like crying as he troubles a lot. Well, Safa, the course of actions you have is one of two. Either to continuously reprimand, hit, beat, torture your two-year-old child in order for him to stop and in order for you to vent this pressure you're having. And definitely this course of action is out of the question. It is filled with negativity and there's nothing positive in it. It's temporary. Maybe the child would stop now, but in five minutes he would do it more and more and more. Or you may deal with the child with love, compassion, but with discipline at the same time. Beating the children at this age is not at all recommended. They would not understand. They'd feel the pain, yet all what they can see associated with this pain is feel ill feelings and hatred. So they don't see the love coming out of you when you discipline them through beating them or through uh, pinching them and, and trying to harm them. So you have to, first of all, understand this is a test from Allah. This is their age. Yes, you can discipline them with love, with conviction, while hugging them, while kissing them, while giving them uh, uh, things that they enjoy. Not necessarily candy because this destroys the children and increases their hyperness. When you give them sugar, giving them a lot of candies and ice cream, this causes them to be a little bit hyper. But at the same time, it destroys their teeth growth the cavities and so many impact on their physical growth as we know sugar is very bad for you. So you have to measure the angle you should deal with such a child. Sometimes disciplining them by not taking them places. Though two years is too young to understand that, okay, I'm not taking you to grandma's house because this and that. He's, too, he's a child. The norm of a two years old is to jump over the sofas, to grab things, to break things, to uh, play with the TV set and maybe make it fall on him. When they're four, they're a little bit more intellectual, more knowledgeable that they can hang over the chandeliers and jump from one curtain to the other. This is their time. This is how they are brought up. But this doesn't stop you from trying to inject some order and discipline to them through communication, through uh, uh, giving them instruction, but without shouting, without beating. When a child is grown in an environment of complete, total and continuous screaming and, and, and torture and beating, this is very negative. This is how he will be brought up and this is the only way of communication with his peers, with other children, with other people that he had learned. But it, when it is with compassion and love and a lot and a lot and a lot of dua, then inshallah there will be positive impact.